So Christian, I already said that you are one of uh, Germany's probably most aspiring new brokers. Uh, can you just describe a little bit what your business model is and um, the, your journey so far? That would be great. Great, yeah. Thanks for having me and sorry again for being kind of late. Okay. Um, so yeah, as I said, Trade Republic is Europe's first uh, mobile and commission-free broker. So basically, we're empowering um, um, millions of Germans and Europeans to um, take the first steps to capital markets um, uh, just for free. Uh, we spent four years um, uh, literally in a Berlin backyard building a bank from scratch and just launched our offering uh, May last year. Um, and have grown pretty fast um, um, uh, to have uh, thousands of German uh, investing in stocks now with our app. Mm -hmm. Can you just, I mean, as, we, as we're here, the, the main audience here are uh, other investors. So it would be great if you could talk a little bit about your funding history and also your plans for future fundraising in the, um, in the next months or, or whenever you're planning to fundraise. That would be, would be great. Sure. So um, we started with the company in 2015. So we, uh, for four, we, uh, four years, we kind of experienced the uh, flip side of venture capital because uh, none of them would want to back us in a sense, right? Because we were working on this kind of um, 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 yeah, ambitious project of founding a bank from scratch ourselves. And so we started with a lot of angel investors first. And uh, once we launched the company in summer um, 2019, we've been very fortunate to close the Series A funding round uh, led by Crandom and joined by Ukraine uh, Project A uh, back then. And then um, uh, we closed the Series B funding round, um, um, $67 um, a million dollars, um, uh, led by Founders Fund and Excel uh, this summer. And um, uh, we feel like there's a big window of opportunity to create Europe's leading investment platform. For, for sure, we're going we're gonna to collect further capital uh, in the course of next year to really um, uh, seek this opportunity and grow very aggressively uh, in Germany and in Europe. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about... Uh, because you said you're an investment platform rather than a trading platform, can you can you talk about what 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 that means and what your focus is? Um, because I think there's some confusion uh, in, in that space. So I think it's it's definitely important to be precise here. What what your goal is, also mid to long term. Sure. So um, uh, once we started, we've been fascinated uh, by what we call the pension gap. So we strongly believe that demographic change, negative interest rates, and inflation are creating an almost toxic mix for many people. And uh, people will, because of those macroeconomics, um, a need to invest into capital markets. So we strongly believe into, into a market which we call self-saving. It's in the middle between day trading and robot advising. To be honest, we don't believe in day trading. We don't believe in robot advising either for certain uh, reasons. And we believe deliberate mid and long-term investments into capital markets is the best opportunity for the mass market to do something meaningful with their money. And so we want to empower those people with an easy, fast and secure way to do so without charging any commission. And so um, one of our evergreen products right now within Trade Republic is a savings plan, meaning a continuous investment into a diversified portfolio of stocks within an ETF. And um, uh, right now, 80% of our users are using such a savings plan, right? So, so we're really for the young savers in a sense. Mm -hmm. A savings plan is quite a German product, right? Is it, or is it also present in, in other uh, markets in, to that degree as we see it in Germany right now? Well, I think what we do see across Europe, um, and it started in Germany five to ten years ago, and we see it now starting in other regions, that the concept of a life insurance is falling apart because of guaranteed interest rates. And so people seek for personal solutions. And then basically um, a savings plan, meaning continuous investments and therefore profiting from the average buy-in effect is the best answer. So yes, it's a German thing, but it's starting to grow in other regions as well. Mm -hmm. Um, talk a little bit about your target group. I mean, basically, it sounds like you, you, you're rather targeting the mass market. Um, but also, if you look at statistics, you're also serving to a certain degree the Comdirect, uh, Flatex type user that would do 40, 50 trades a year. Uh, they also feel at home at Trade Republic. Is it something that you very likely will continue to be the case? Will there be a shift in strategy of the mass market uh, without really focusing on the higher end of the market? Yes. So uh, I think, first of all, we strongly feel that the authority of a broker in general is going to fall apart. What I mean with that is basically that we believe there will be a separation between investment decision and execution of that decision. So you're not going to go to your advisor anymore. You do own research in the internet 
um, influencers, YouTubers, podcasts, whatever. And then at a certain point in your research, it does click and you want to invest. And then you need a tool to execute this investment decision. And Trader Public is the agent for that. So um, I'm an independent, if you are a day trader, investor, saver, newbie, advanced, you have one problem. Everybody of those types has one problem, buying and selling a stock. And Trader Public aims to be the number one tool um, for those people to execute their investment decision. Therefore, we want to be for the mass market, and we are happy to have both uh, active traders and a long-term savers on our platform, and we try to build the platform in both directions likewise. Mm-hmm. Um, there's been one interesting question, and we were about to touch on that anyway, coming from, from the audience, and that is, how are you actually making money if you don't charge any fees? So how how they make a good business, not only for the consumer, but also for the company? Right. Um, uh, Unlike you would think, it's not a big secret. So um, uh, we learned initially what many people or consumers don't know, that a broker is making money on basically two ways. So first of all, um, obviously, there's a commission a consumer is paying. Second, there's a remuneration that uh, an exchange or a market maker is paying the broker for the execution of a trade. So if you do a trade with your broker, you pay five euros. And on top of that, the broker gets money from the exchange. So once we learned that, basically the challenge of trade public has, 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 has changed because it's not about how we make money without fees, but it's about how can we build a bank such efficient that we can only uh, work with those uh, uh, money or kickbacks which are already in the market, right? And so this explains why we spent four years building the bank uh, from mm-hmm. scratch uh, first. Can you describe a little bit what you did there? Because I think one aspect of you know spending four years is like the regulatory side of things. You have to get the licenses in place, which is uh, not an easy thing to do, rightfully so, in, in, in finance. But what what have you built? And, and uh, to, is that basically enabling you to achieve better features for the end user? Or is it something that allows you to save costs or both? Can you go a little bit more into detail there? Right. So um, I think brokerage in general has a tremendous mode around it. And I think that's the sole reason why we saw no innovation whatsoever in the last 15 years in Germany and all across Europe in this industry. Because regulation is fierce, technology entry barriers are high. And unlike with other neo banking services, there's literally no white label partner also, right? So in order to get to this market, you only have one choice and one choice only, doing it yourself. And so um, we did it for years and uh, we focused um, um, on, on really having the entire trade value chain uh, internally. So from the tap within the app to the execution, clearing and settlement of a trade in the open market, everything is done in-house. And by doing so, we avoid a lot of middleman, therefore cutting costs and efficiency. So all technology in the first place is uh, the facilitator of our business model because uh, by efficiency, we can afford Uh, to give our trading uh, for free to people. And then obviously having built everything in-house, we now have a great fundament to come up with new ways, contexts, and solutions for people to engage differently with capital markets. Mm -hmm. Um, You started with mobile only. So um, you have an app-based business. Is there going to be, and that's a question from the audience, is there going to be a desktop version Uh, sometime soon in the future and how do you see the two also interplay for whom is like why why, what value would a desktop version have is there like a customer group where you feel that this could actually add value I mean Trade Republic has a very strong vision is that trading is going to happen mobile uh, and mobile only in the future right we strongly believe that uh, most services are going to be consumed mobile and for products such as capital markets it makes a lot of sense right because we talk about a very uh, real-time business where it's meaningful that you get the latest quote yourself um, but for us facing mass market obviously uh, the desktop could be uh, uh, another kind of um, a growth funnel right because um certain users prefer to do uh complex investment decisions on a rather bigger screen right so it's not part of the core vision of trade republic but obviously as a startup you never say never and it could be something on the roadmap uh uh, for the next time Mm -hmm. um there's one question on on which markets are you are you trading uh so um which kind of sphere or or um uh, of of tra- of stocks and derivatives, etc. Are you covering with with your market? Yeah, and, I think and, it's, um, consumers are you open? 
right now? Right. I think that's a very interesting question. So um, you can trade 8,000 stocks with Trader Public, which covers BMW, Volkswagen, Apple, Sony, or even Barrick Gold, like an Africa gold mine. You can literally trade everything you wish for at Trader Public. But we kind of um, go away from the concept of an exchange, right? Because we believe the uh, complexity right now at incumbents of 15 exchanges is a historically grown complexity, which had its um, um, a meaning in the past because there had been differences in the exchanges. But um, looking into 2020, those exchanges literally do not have any meaningful uh, distinctions anymore at end users. So um, at Trader Public, you can trade all global stocks um, um, uh, with one execution direction. Mm -hmm. And when are you entering right now? You're just present in Germany. You started waiting with in Austria. Are there going to be more markets, sir? sir? Because from a right we can do that, right? Right. So, so Trade Republic has been always thought as a European project. So we want to grow across Europe. I think the, the, the driving forces, meaning demographic change, interest rates and inflation, are not only happening in Germany, they are European phenomenon. And so we want to grow across Europe. Um, I said we did our first stance in, in, in Austria and uh, likely we're going to open up another market in 2021 also to, to be applicable to more people across the continent. Mm -hmm. um, it just says that there's a big echo when I'm speaking. I hope this is not... Okay. Um, sorry, I, got, uh, I cannot really do anything about that. Maybe the tech uh, One more question, uh, and then I guess we, we have to stop. I mean, right now, a very... Um, interesting market dynamic that you guys have benefited from. Yeah, we have low interest rate, um, a lot of volatility in the market. Can you explain on, on these mechanisms exactly how they, you know, propel the model and what's your hypothesis on how it's going to stay? Um, and, and are you interested on this? Or is Right. So, so for the echo, I wasn't understanding everything, but I thought the question is about how macroeconomics benefiting the business model. Um, and so, so um, I think we do see that negative interest rates are scaring a lot of people. Um, that a lot of people are 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 looking um, into alternatives, what to do with their money, right? And um, 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 I think um, it is a prejudice that um, 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 uh, Europeans or Germans don't have any uh, financial knowledge. We do see that the financial literacy um, um, is getting very uh, uh, good in Germany um, uh, for quite some time. And so we feel that many people have already done the mental step that they want to go into investing and they want to do something in capital markets. And I think the recent volatility around COVID-19 and the dipping prices for certain stocks um, um, uh, was a good momentum for many people to make the first step. And I think that, again, is a great proof point that the financial literacy uh, is improving across Germany because people see that we are not in a systemic crisis, but rather an external crisis. And they understand why courses or quotes are kind of low. And they understand this is a great um, 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 way of entering markets now. Probably one last question, and then we, we'll f finish. Um, and that is, uh, how do you differentiate from Robin Hood? Uh, that has been one question, and then we have to finish it. Sure. So um, um, we believe Europe and, 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 and Germany um, are a different animal uh, when it comes to brokerage than you, the U.S., right? Um, in the United States, you've got the 401k structure, meaning that the savings part of capital markets is uh, most locally being taken care of by the um, uh, employee, right? And so the remainder of the market is rather short-term oriented, um, maybe even betting oriented kind of brokerage style. In Europe, we're talking about a different set of challenges because Many Europeans are looking for saving solutions uh, into capital markets. So while our solution might look similar um, on paper, the uh, problem we're solving isn't. And Trade Republic aims to be a saving solution other than a trading app, right? And so I think in this kind of DNA is the ultimate difference between Robinhood and Trade Republic. Makes sense. So thanks a lot, Christian, for sharing these thoughts and insights. And I'm going now uh, going to hand over uh, to my colleague, Ben, who's going to talk to Senda. Thanks a lot. Thank you.